So while our hospitals are prepared for the heat this weekend, we're asking the community to play their part and please be sensible with the heat. We know there's a lot happening this weekend and we know that it's going to be really hot. We're asking people to please stay hydrated, stay cool and stay well. It's important for people, as was said earlier, to look after themselves. So uh, make sure you have plenty of water available, uh, that you stay indoors during the peak of the heat of the day, that you don't exercise during the heat of the day, that you keep the blinds drawn and the curtains drawn and the air conditioning running. Uh, it's not worth saving a few dollars just for uh, the sake of, of um, uh, 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 it's not worth not keeping cool just for the sake of a few dollars. Um, make sure that you check on elderly friends and relatives. They are particularly vulnerable in the heat and they may uh, not have their air conditioning running, so make sure their air conditioning is running. Look after your children. Uh, babies need extra drinks, extra breastfeeds, extra bottle feeds, and don't overdress your babies during the heat. So we're asking the community to pay their part, play their part and stay well during the heat and be sensible. We had really hot weather just recently, record breaking hot weather. What sort of issues did we see then? So between the 16th and 18th of January, we did see extra presentations across the whole of the state. So there were 69 heat related presentations and 31 admissions across the whole of the state in, uh, in the middle of January. And then there were 154, uh, 156 presentations uh, on the 23rd to the 25th of January with uh, 54 admissions. We know that uh, what happens is that people do get heat related events. So people who might exercise in the heat may become dehydrated and need care. Um, we do know also that most of the morbidity is related to people who have existing chronic conditions, so the frail and elderly in particular. And that's why we're asking the community to check on their elderly, frail, uh, and, uh, elderly and frail relatives and friends. Make sure that they're well. Make sure that they've got the air conditioning going. Make sure that they don't have to do any errands in the heat. And uh, keep in touch with them. Uh, we already have the Telecross Ready service which will be checking on other people registered with it but the community needs to play in their part and be sensible and be caring. Also stay well, stay cool, stay hydrated. I've heard that deaths from all causes are increased as a result of extreme heat, is that true? Well that's because of the, it's mainly the other chronic illnesses, cardiac, renal, respiratory and others but in particular, particular cardiac and renal. And we know that those people are frail and we know that they have, uh, are, they're vulnerable to stresses in their system. So we know that, for example, infections bring on exacerbations of their illness, but it's the same with heat. And we also know that that happens not just during the hot weather, but for the few days afterwards. And that's why um, we're asking people to check on them, make sure they're okay, especially over the hot weather of the weekend. In addition, make sure that if you are out and about, over the hot weather of the weekend, you stay cool and you especially stay hydrated. Keep the fluids up, that's really important. We've had issues with ramping lately. Where that, um, what does this have got in place for dealing with those extra issues? Obviously, you don't want people out in the ramp in those sort of issues. So, I've already been uh, meeting with the chief operating officers of the hospital networks, and we've already been discussing the plans for should it be necessary to postpone some planned admissions for say some of the lower category uh, uh, surgery but also to staff extra uh, people in the hospitals over the weekend in case they're needed. Um, we, we obviously need to prepare for the heat. We know that there's a risk that there will be more presentations, that there will be more admissions and so we're dealing with that risk. Uh, but we're also asking the community to play their part. Please be sensible in the heat. Don't exercise in the heat of the day. Um, don't uh, uh, go out without water, a hat and uh, sunscreen on and just look after yourselves but check on your elderly, frail uh, relatives and friends and look after young children with extra uh, breast feeds and bottle feeds and don't overdress young children. How sensible is it to be hosting a family fun day for the festival getting that park planned across the road from Elder Park when it's 40 degrees? Well, I think the, the, uh, the people organising that, I'm sure, will take necessary precautions to make sure that it is in a place that's shaded and not out in the sun, that has the cool of the grass. And I'm sure there will be extra resources around water and, and hydration for the families. Um, obviously, we want people to enjoy the wonderful uh, uh, events that are happening in March in Adelaide. Uh, it's a fantastic time to live in Adelaide, but we also want people to be sensible. So uh, make sure that they take extra uh, water and, and drinks for their, their children and themselves. Make sure that they dress sensibly and that they use sunscreen.
Particularly how careful do you think people need to be at the Adelaide 500 given the environment that it is in with all the bitumen? Um, I imagine on a 40 degree day temperatures would be well above that in that area. Uh, absolutely. Uh, the, um, the environment uh, at with the concrete etc has the potential to heat up in addition to the to the weather around so again it's really important for people to be sensible drink plenty of water um, if you can make sure that you uh, avoid alcohol but if you are going to drink alcohol make sure that you alternate with drinks of water to stay hydrated look after your friends if you see that they're perhaps getting into bother uh, either with the heat or a little bit too much to drink, uh, help them to uh, settle down, so help them to get cool. Keep them out of the sun, wear a hat and enjoy and be well, but be sensible. You might not be able to ask this, Carly, but in terms of SA Ambulance crews, have they got extra resources on for these next few days as well? Yes, the Ambulance is planning for um, extra call-outs. We, we know, as I said, that we will get extra call-outs, extra presentations, and so they're planning to have extra staffing on and more senior staff on. Um, than would be a normal weekend uh, in anticipation. But we're hoping they won't be needed. We're hoping that people will do their bit and be sensible in the heat. Uh, we want people to have fun, but we also want people to stay well.